I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 22nd of April. Weather looks good today and tomorrow, but uh, the more and more we look at things, it looks like we could be dealing with a potentially dangerous, severe weather outbreak here across the Deep South Saturday and Saturday night. So let's get right to it and talk about it. The uh, sky cam shots this morning, all is calm. I see Auburn University campus is seen from the sky cam down in Lee County. And it's cool. Uh, many spots are in the uh, 40s this morning. Downtown Clanton in Chilton County. Hey, hey, it's uh, strawberry time down there, and soon it's going to be peach time. And uh, in the Birmingham Metro, that's the Inverness Sky Cam. A, a quiet morning out on Highway 280, but we all know that will change soon. Oh, boy, you see that in late April, and you have to be concerned. A whopper of an upper low developing over the southwest United States, and as that progresses east, uh, that will be uh, setting the stage for a potentially widespread severe weather problem for parts of the uh, Mid-South and the Deep South in the days ahead. At the moment, that map is quiet, but again, that will be lighting up like a Christmas tree in coming days. Just a few winter weather advisories out west in the mountains, but uh, uh, again, as that taps the Gulf moisture and moves east, severe weather and maybe some flash flooding problems will evolve. Let's get right to the uh, convective outlooks. This is today. Got a slight risk of severe weather. That's the standard risk uh, for a large part of east or west Texas, western half of Oklahoma, parts of western Kansas, and the plains of Colorado. Now, tomorrow, this is when we could see a very significant outbreak of severe weather. And again, you see slight, and that can be a little misleading. That's the standard risk. But we look at the probabilities, and you can see the enhanced numbers are running from near Shreveport and Tyler up to Little Rock, Fort Smith, a large part of Missouri, including uh, Kansas City and St. Louis, up toward Omaha. And again, there could be some uh, long-track tornadoes involved in there. And then on day three, this is Saturday, now all of a sudden uh, the guys uh, have all of the Deep South, all of Alabama, in a standard risk of severe weather. And unfortunately, we are right in the midst of the enhancement. The enhanced severe weather area includes uh, uh, all of Alabama and Mississippi and the adjacent parts of Tennessee and a sliver there of Georgia, western Georgia. And we'll take a look at modeling, but it sure looks like uh, this will be a day where all modes of severe weather are possible. We'll talk about the timing and everything else here in just a moment. Here's the uh, QPF graphic, and this is suggesting the heaviest rain will be near the shoals with over three and a half inches, two inches for Birmingham, and the amounts taper off as you go down to the south. But uh, it will be a good rain event, and uh, uh, the rain will probably start uh, Saturday morning and continue uh, at times right on through Saturday night. And, of course, there could be some big thunderstorms involved as well. This is 1 o'clock today. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System. And, again, there is the uh, – Big storm off to the west will be dry today. Beautiful, mostly sunny with a high close to 80. Tomorrow, the upper low is progressive. Uh, still, we are under ridging, so it should be a warm and dry day. Partially sunny, breezy at times, mid-80s. And again, uh, down below that, the surface low is over the plains of Colorado. And uh, where you see that green, that's where a major severe weather outbreak could evolve during the day. Uh, the eastern half of Texas and Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, and then ultimately into uh, Mississippi. And then Saturday, the trough is getting close. The upper winds are very diffluent, adding to the lift and the instability. And this is problematic in that now the GFS wants to place the surface low at Little Rock instead of up there at Omaha. And that means that the surface winds will be backed around to the southeast. The winds will be veering with altitude. The wind fields will be very strong at the surface and aloft. And again, uh, everything there is, is set for severe weather. And this run is also a little faster, which means that uh, it could be where we begin to see supercells forming during the afternoon hours on Saturday into Saturday night. And that is when the air tends to be more unstable. Uh, there's a look at uh, 1 a.m. just after midnight Saturday night. And the surface low is uh, moving north-northeast up towards Chicago. Uh, the thunderstorm should begin to taper off at that point, and then on Sunday, everything is uh, all over. Uh, there, I guess there could be a lingering shower in spots, but again, it looks like Sunday will be fine. For the NASCAR fans, same idea. Saturday will be problematic. Sunday looks fine, but understand there's going to be a massive crowd of campers 
out at the Super Speedway this weekend. And with the dangerous, severe weather setup uh, in place now, that's problematic as well. So everybody should be very, very weather alert this weekend. We'll look at some of the severe weather parameters. This is uh, the instabilities, the surface-based capes. This is uh, 7 o'clock Saturday evening, or OZ. And uh, these are not overwhelming, but still, they're certainly sufficient to support severe weather. Instability values across Alabama in the uh, uh, 500 to 1,000 joule range, the, the better values back over Mississippi. But again, the dynamic support is remarkable. And look at the helicity values. Uh, this is the zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity. This is the lowest one kilometer. Extremely high values. And again, that means that the uh, updrafts should be rotating. And uh, this is certainly problematic. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter. This is at O3Z. That is 10 o'clock Saturday night. And the numbers are maxed out from uh, near Meridian back up to uh, Birmingham, roughly along Interstate 5920. And again, you can see the whole northern two-thirds of Alabama in a very enhanced uh, risk there. And uh, this is another uh, instability index. Uh, this is the Craven Brooks Severe Weather Index, basically a combination of helicity and instability uh, put together by one of our friends, Jeff Craven. And again, the numbers are uh, very, very high over Mississippi and Alabama. So uh, we think the main window probably now with the models being faster, we'll have to say noon Saturday until a little after midnight Saturday night. All modes of severe weather possible, and there could be, with these kind of parameters, some long track tornadoes in here. And that's why we're going to have to go ahead and kind of ramp up the alert here and indicate that this could be a potentially dangerous setup. All right, Monday, uh, everything looks good. Uh, some evidence, maybe a few lingering showers over the Tennessee Valley. Tuesday looks dry. Wednesday looks dry. Now, Thursday of next week, another big deep trough out west. And we've seen various ideas on how the GFS handles this, but the latest run, this one, uh, keeps it out west and then shunts it north because we'll go to May the 2nd, and you can see we're still under ridging, and that thing is shunted north of us. So hopefully the big problems with that will stay west, but we've also seen runs that want to bring it in here. And there's the uh, surface chart. Still looks pretty benign there. And at the end of the forecast on May the 7th, uh, trough to the northwest and some evidence of a cold front coming in, but we all know this is out there in voodoo land. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we do invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.